Good morning guys. Welcome back to Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku and today I'm with a very special guest, Chef Hiro. Hi. Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. He is someone I've, I've been watching personally for years. I think when, when, right when I started becoming a sushi chef, I was watching your videos oh, really? and trying to learn oh. uh, from your channel too. So I've been really watching his channel for a really long time. So I'm really excited about today. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna look for some uni right now. Uni. Mm. Yes, uni first, and then maybe we can poke full for some eels, and maybe we'll find some crabs too. And after everything, we'll cook it up right on the beach. Okay. It's gonna be beautiful. Nice. I'm really excited. Any uh, octopus today? <laughs> octopus? Uh, maybe. I'm gonna say most likely not, but you never know what, what you're gonna find out here. I really wanna thank you for coming yeah. all the way out here, all yeah. the way from Miami. Flew into LA and drove up San Francisco just to do this collab yes. and we're gonna do one today and tomorrow mm -hmm. and in the following uh, on Monday Perfect. as well down in San Diego oh yeah so stay tuned let's go do this today is supposed to be a negative 1.6 which is really good okay. which is a very low tide let's take some of this here this is the baby uh, kombu oh, kombu right. for eating the, be the better ones are like the young ones and these are all pretty young, good to take. Yeah, you just want to cut it off like right where I did too, like so they can grow back that way. I and mean, it's a sustainable way of uh, harvesting. We'll just go right over here, and I'm pretty sure there's uni right in, right up in there. Let me go check first. Let me crack it open, see how it looks. Oh, not bad. This looks good. I'm gonna throw it down there and then so you guys can take a look, all right? That's really good. Oh, bucket, 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 bucket. Oh, shit. <laughs> Creole's trying to poke pole it in. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice. So the limit is 35 per person here. Go ahead, get it. No, not the fish, the fish right there. Good job. 20 of them about in like 10 minutes. Oh, this is good. Sea lettuce. Yeah, this is good for the seaweed salad. Have you ever gotten sick eating something from out here? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not going away. This one is good. Here's on, get this one. This here. This is nori. Ah, nori, eh? Nori, get that. Uh, nori sheets. Motto Okay. Take that side. I'm thinking going to the, to the other, driving to the other spot okay. because uh, there's crabs. Oh, we're thinking we can do that so we can make some California roll. <laughs> yeah, real, but, real, yeah real, real California real, rolls. Real. What you want to do is make sure you're looking at underneath all the rocks. Okay. Look, look under the rocks and see if there's crabs and if there is like a kind of a hole. You can you can poke this in there, see if you catch anything. Okay. Maybe 30 seconds, one minute. If mm. nothing, just move on. Hiro san, <laughs> First crab. First there's crab. two. There's two there, but only the big, the top one is gonna be big, big enough. Ooh. There it is. Oh yeah! Oh, look at those claws. Oh. It's just the claws, Hero. 
No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Those claws will get like they'll they look like they'll crush. Like stone crab claws. Yeah. They'll crush you. Huge. Yeah, that's a California red rock crab. Got a fish. I think somebody, something tried to eat him. Mm. Look, both sides scratched. scratched. I think a big fish tried to eat him. I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah, I think this Man. thing is really cool. Take a look. Wow. Look at this. It looks like That's an cool. isopod. <laughs> yeah, this is, a, this is called a gumbo chitin. Why not? It? Yeah, really touch good. it. It's kind of like furry, kind of fuzzy. Really interesting creatures. Oh, dang, that's pretty big. I know. All right. You gotta be like Craig, just stick your hand in. I know, I am, I'm gonna do it. And the claws facing my way as well. When they're in here, I'm pretty sure they're sleeping. So you can just sneak up on them. Mm. Wow, oh, what? it's not small, really. What? Oh, he just has one claw. Oh. One claw, but one big claw. Okay. It's a male. Ooh, almost got me. <laughs> Big claw. Look at that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nice. All right. That's two California roll. <laughs> oh, even here looks good too. Nothing, huh? Mm. Looks good. You guys want to try some sashimi? I'm just going to use my knife and I'm just going to go right under. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Hi. Okay, go ahead. Take one. Take one. Go ahead. So good. So good here. Yeah. It's crunchy, right? It's like breaking bread here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crunchy. Crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's just Steve Kong. Solo hang eat tomo. There's some about to, about to catch a fish right now. Oh. Something, Something in there? All right, let's 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 go for it. Again? <laughs> oh, he's hungry. I have no idea. It's, it's a bit strong. Something Very like strong. Oh, okay. Use this one. Use this one. <laughs> no, no, no. Go, go, go. No, no. You gotta, you gotta catch it. Okay, I'll this time. Got it. Yeah? Got it. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, my oh, God. My oh, my God. That's... Jeez. Oh, my God. Whoa. That's the... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that's, that's huge. Wow. Yeah. No. That's yeah. Than huge. The monkey face prickle back. Oh. Oh. That's the Here, biggest eel. No, no, just want to break. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lift it. Try to lift it. Yeah. My God. Yeah, bring it closer to me. That might be a rec. That might be record. Did it? Maybe. Cause that's huge. That's huge. Yeah. And then pull, push it back too. He just caught one. I'm gonna try it. The same exact hole. Cause the rule is, if you catch one there, you try again. And more than likely, you're gonna catch another one. There it is. There it is. Oh, it's Aww. a <laughs> little rockfish. My second little rockfish. This is even smaller. That's a crab. That's a huge oh crab. Oh. oh! That's a six, six, six and a half. Incredible, incredible day out here in the tide pools. We got a lot of sea urchin, got three crabs, very good sized ones too. One giant, giant monkey face eel. That thing is crazy. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Anyways, we have more than enough to make a meal. So we're gonna head back go to a cooking spot and we'll make some sushi, maybe some miso soup, maybe some seaweed salad. What do you think, chef? Barbecue eel. Barbecue eel. Oh yeah. Well, we're gonna get it done. Right, so we're in our kitchen now. Look at this view. Beautiful, some view. All we need is some beautiful food. And I'm with the best right here. I was saying earlier, like, uh, I used to watch you, you know, when I started, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, wow, 
you know, that's awesome. Like, I want to get that good and all this stuff. And, you know, I worked really hard uh, to where I am now. And then now it's kind of just shows you that if you work hard, you get to uh, one day meet your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We admire your channel. Yeah, thank we you. We admire your hard work. Thank uh, you. You're on to something great and very special. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you it's so a, much. It's an honor to be here, too. So. No, I, I really appreciate that. That uh, means a lot coming thing. from you guys. We feel, we feel that strongly. Thank you. So. Awesome. All right, now, Hero's going to be on this side. This and is like Iron Chef. Yeah. and then <laughs> <laughs> Iron Picnic Chef. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm, I'm on this side right here. All right. And what are you doing right here in this spot? So I'm going to start cooking the rice and on this side with a little tiny outdoor stove and then i think i'm gonna have hero san start the crab in this pot uh, and then we'll go from there after that we'll clean out some uni then we'll start every, once everything's prepped then we'll make some sushi miso soup and seaweed salad sounds great yeah great. yes let's do this do yes outdoor chef life oh that's great <laughs> yeah wow so yeah it works pretty well oh, and i have my there got a few knives here. I got the chopsticks here. I think I need the scissors. This one, I think the crab. Should we use the ocean water? Ocean water? Yeah. Sure. I could go get it. I could get it. So these are purple urchin. In California, we have two species. Mainly, it's uh, purple urchin and red urchin. And do they get much bigger than this? Not that much. Okay. Not that much. You'll normally this is like I say, it's like a medium size, but the red urchins get huge. That's like the Santa Barbara when you, oh, know, yeah. you get in a restaurant. Yeah, that's that's like a gets as big as your head, kind of. Right. Oh, have you prepped some? I'll prep some too. Or if you don't have the patience, you can also just crack it in half. And look at that, ooh, bright orange. If you let it so it won't stick. Yeah. to make miso soup. Now this is the ocean water, so it's gonna be really salty. I'm gonna have to dilute it. What do you think this white stuff is? Taco, what it is? That looks like a parasite. Parasite? Yeah. If I do this one, you get the one million view. Oh, Two million view. Two million. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Like a stone crab. Yeah. These are called black turban stamps. Seaweed salad. Mix it in directly. A little bit salty, but it's really, it's really good. The flavor, you can taste that crab. I'll just pop these in.
っと切っていきましょうかはいありがとうお願いしますそのその上に行きます上にシソシソリーズシソシソリーズ And I'm gonna finish it with a little lemon zest. And by the way, the seaweed was in this. It was marinating inside a t o s a z u It's kind of sweet vinegar soy sauce. One last thing on there the limpets. Oh, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What a great job. This is awesome. Thank you. Congratulations on this collaboration. Thank you. Thank you. You guys you. did a great job. If you think this looks good, make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Oh, yeah, I'm so excited to eat this now. You, this meal is very, very special. I can tell you that. It really is. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Great texture on the s e a w e e d I really like yeah. the kambu. The young mm -hmm. kambu that you mentioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. These are really good. The snails? Yeah. Yeah, the snails are good. You can really taste the crab. Mm -hmm. All right, sushi time. All right. You want to try this one? Cheers. I'll try, but I'm try. not a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> Is it worth all that hiking and risking our lives? For me, it's worth it. Yeah. That's so good. It's <laughs> sweet. Yeah, very climb sweet. Up that ridge. You and mm -hmm. Justin had to climb up the ridge. That was nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm, sweet. Sweet, right? Mm, sweet. Uh -huh. Justin, how's it? I think I finally acquired the taste. You did? Yeah, I like it. California roll. California roll. Let's go for it. My favorite thing here, a crab. Mm. Mm. Uni and crab? Crab. <laughs> California roll with uni. Mm. <laughs> oh, that was really good. California roll? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's so good. Good combo. That is mm -hmm. a great combo. A little bit of seaweed salad. What's your favorite? It is so good. Which one? Everything? Seaweed salad. Go ahead. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. There's uh, four types of seaweed in there. Kombu, nori, sea lettuce, and rockweed. Which one's your favorite? I think my favorite is that California roll with uni. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good because that crab, the, the texture from the crab, and then you get a creaminess on top of that from yeah. the uni. It's also good. Mm -hmm. It's Honestly. so good. Yeah, everything is good. Everything is so good. All right, guys, thank you for watching. This was an amazing episode, I think. For me personally, this was a real treat. I got to work with the master sushi chef, Hiroyuki Tarada. So, if you haven't seen him, go check out his channel, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. And. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace. <laughs> Jocelyn, let the bucket go. Now it's in the middle. It's coming back to you. It's coming back. Creole's trying to poke pole it in. Oh, I got it.